So, uh, look at that. <laughs> Made another wall. Uh, it's going along here. This is not the safe area, by the way. Just I'm just walking around because I cleared this. And I just hope that there won't be a, a much aliens right here. And then here's the safe area, our safe area again. And then I made this uh, complete wall and I wanted to show you to write this baby, write this puppy to the manual thing. Yeah, thank you. So it's going to write at around 260 kilometers an hour. You can see that on the right side of the screen by speed and a right Come on, come on, you're almost there. Yeah, it's, it should be right on speed right now. But it would take quite a long time to go from that place down there with even three, yeah, three, 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 three um, system, but three logomotives. It takes quite a long time. And I really like, and that's why I wanted to show you a little bit, the, the fading of those chunks. Although they are not perfect, it looks quite good. <laughs> fade, uh, fade away. Um, for the radar system, we, we could choose by the way, we can we can generate that. Um, for the for, mm, radar system, no, I don't want to talk about the radar system. I want to talk about this because this is starting to look better. And, um, because more and more aliens are getting uh, destroyed right there. So I made an, an, another, another change to the system. Um, we good. We have three of those stupid ones. Come on, you and you. And then we have three broken turrets. You are broken, you are broken, and you are broken. I probably did not have enough repair packs on me. Let's grab 100. So we have this system, and uh, this is unloading and loading the train. So this one is to just the normal train thing. Then we have an, a special train. And we have a junk train, so we can put full of junk. And also, all the locomotives are getting uh, supplied with power and that kind of stuff. So that's really nice. Let's remove, repair these by myself because it's taking way too long for me. And uh, basically, uh, it's it's working better. Let's say it that way. With this one too. Repair like that. So that is working fine. So now um, the productivity in here will have speed on me. So yeah, let's just let it be there. These are annoying. The pressure is too high in the thing, and there's no more steel. Um, I should change the way how the main base works with oil, because right now it doesn't quite work. So I'm gonna do that. But for that we need two stations and I wish I could replenish a nice station right here for it. No, we can we can of course use why are we unloading and loading copper in copper in? Oh you're being unloaded and you are done down done, yes. So this one will be done soon. So we can use that one. Uh, and basically this one. You're completely done. Uh, my uh, main in iron ore. No, I don't want you. Are you are going to third no, um, um, to 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 a ladder, like F, and you're gonna wait until your uh, circuit condition doesn't matter. But you still need to be um, put it out, and that's the storage system and iron ore, and you're gonna wait until you're empty. So first go there, and then go to G, wherever G may be. I don't know. Uh, so then this station would be available to use So uh, we have a loading station and now we need an unloading station So this one we want to save This one we want to save Let's put this in my normal inventory And then we uh, pick, steal this one Let's steal this station layout Completely like that and plump it above right there. But then we are have problems with that one. Doesn't matter, we just plump it around right there then. I don't know. We don't need a uh, refueling because we're gonna refuel a little bit lower. And we might also want to turn this around so it goes down, but um Nah, let's don't do that. 
uh, basically we want to have it right this height so we just where are we gonna get attacked what apparently I still had rebels right there turn no no I, I don't anymore so uh, yeah luckily I'm making them out of metal glee because this is factorio you can make anything out of metal glee but uh, I may want to check if my Screen capture is really catching on my push. Look at me. Whoosh. That seemed to work fine. Um, but now we are unloading. How is this even electrically good? That's better, you know? Not still not good. I probably want to move this one one over. Like that. And copy this one right there. And then use one more pipe. That I um, need to go and get from the station itself. Well, I know the was pipe system right here, right there. Almost, almost done. So we are taking out one like that, and we're putting it right there. And then we, what we could do is let you go to the middle, and then uh, I don't want to connect that to the red system. We have red. We connect that, we connect it to this one, nice, really nice. And a normal belt going up with underground belts. And then we can move this spot. You you you. So that would work better. And then we would have um we don't need that one apparently, so that's fine. Oh no, that's the wrong way around. No. Again. You go down. And you going that way. Um uh, I really wish I wanna turn it around. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. You are going that way. So you will be, be filled. Then we need up to set up a train to work with this. Um, so we had an oil train into the main base, and I don't know where that one goes. God, um, this one, I think this one is is the problem. So you're gonna make a crude in, uh, go to there. So um, this is the diesel locomotive I need. So we say go to um, main off uh, crude oil. No, main of of barrels is it? It is barrels. Main of barrels. So do empty barrels right there, and you. Oh, we're still still in there. Let's take that out. You are gonna put in full barrels. So main main. We already should have this one made in crude oil. Yes, rename. Then we have a station right here somewhere with what used to be crude oil, you, and we're gonna rename you to what we don't have yet. H I and there. Good. Snout root. Uh unload and then we need to change the loading algorithm too. So instead of going right there for loading, we want it um to go this way. Because like that, why not? Why not? You know, why not? You do it, do and then you fine, and then you need to go down. <laughs> you go in right here. Oh no, up! Yeah, nice. <laughs> And then we would have crude oil going into our base the, the right way, you know? We'd have all the one free right here. So we can use that. Um, what was here? What was I thinking right there? What? Well, it doesn't matter. So this was for the empty and the fill barrels, right? 
but then we have to yeah put it in the storage and then we need to find look at that one so this one is waiting for we need a loads and loads of more of those being used so now we'll look in that soon but let's first connect that one so that one has power then we have iron or so let's put that into the train and let the train go away du, 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 du. you train go away oh no wait go to H wherever H may be oh don't kill me so you're basically of low why was this one H I don't know I will fix it later doesn't matter hello Hello, Mary, with you. You're probably going to the plastic. Where need you go? Probably. I hope the refueling station. Uh, that doesn't have fuel, right? <gasps> the storage system doesn't have a refueling way. Which is going to be a problem. So I'm gonna build that right now. Well, I've been thinking. I mean, it's nice that we have this base, but it needs an upgrade. Uh, we need one place that we can make everything we want. And I mean, like, everything. So, what I want to do is just uh, get a ton of, I think, concrete. No, no, we can we can use normal bricks to... Ooh, can we still put this in the chest? Ooh, pretty much. Let's use the uh, normal you and then we just are uh, going to create this uh, energy cell we have right this cell we're gonna change that or oh, that makes quite some noise to um, uh, to be our uh, main station so let me fill in the bricks uh, we have too much of that other stuff that we want to put in a chest like that fine and with bricks we need walls and a lot of it so I'm just grabbing a bunch of walls and we are going to make uh, basically what I want to do is uh, you know the, those squares I want to make a square right here and in that square we're gonna make a big defense thing so if we ever have problems we can run back to here and um, so I need to redesign a lot of it but it's going to be great and um, there's just some basic materials are going inside and we're gonna use this square for that with a train network so we're gonna redo everything of the base and uh, so the basic things come in and we make them into everything else and it would have a buffer so uh, it won't run low um, and it would have a backup uh, power system and all that kind of uh, neat stuff that uh, I first need to build up the walls so we won't have any fighter attacks uh, but basically it's going to be the doom scenario thing let's say I'm so the wall fills the train fills the wall fills baiters come in uh, and we need something to do we have this base and this base is going to be everything you need in a world and that's my idea about it and I hope it's gonna work but I need to uh, plan out some uh, quite a lot of stuff because um, do I want to include um, research in that do I want I think there is enough room to do that all but for now I don't know and uh, how much storage do I want in the base and I, I especially want an, uh, an uh, uh, own uh, how do you say that and a, and, a, and a refilling station for all the turret so I don't have to do that so there's going to be uh, an, an, a real, an, um, an, a, an a line next to this so there will be a line right like here going around with uh, the guns so we can put the guns into the turret if we would like if we just uh, change it a little bit like uh, like that and then we can put it into the turret and all that kind of neat stuff but uh, yeah and just a lot of it going to be need to uh, change so that was the fire setup we did let's remove that too because this buffering system these are not in the right place and 
Oh, there's so much to do. So for the research, this is the research at the moment. And this is the building thing. So as you can see, this is pretty neat set up. And I'm afraid that if I'm gonna break it down, uh, I would have some problems um, uh, with uh, with these chests taking up way too full. So, uh, and also what I wanted to do is make, since we are building a new base, sort of on the top of our old base. Whoa, so not many of those anymore. Um, we might want also, we don't have those, apparently we're not having robot ports. Yeah, I forgot the name. You, 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 you found me. Um, let's do that, let's do that, and then we can make some robot ports. So, I want to include robot ports at the base, so, uh, they are scattered around right now and not in the ideal position, but as we can do it again and redo it, uh, I want to change that up too, so we can uh, have it a little bit nice, and I want it to be right in the base if possible. So if we do one here, and hook that up to the powering system, thank you, would we be able to fit one next to it, or would we just uh, find the square? Yeah, we need to find the square in the middle, so the, the inner square would we, uh, be powered, because we know I'm missing a little bit. So we just shift it over because we don't need it well well where the turrets are. I think we don't need supply right there because there's going to be a wall going all the way around uh with turret stuff. So uh but for now let me redo a lot of things. Uh why I'm not recording redoing the things because you probably don't want to see me doing things already done because I'm just basically gonna move and yeah, walls in an inventory. You're right. I don't need that many walls. I picked way too many walls. Because, uh, yeah. That chest. But let me uh, redo some things of the base. Uh, now we're building that. I know the episode's almost over, but I just wanted to do a few more things. For example, big poles. I want to have a big pole on the side right there and just connect that to the main station then we have this one that's connected to the main bus I think uh, then we connect that to an accumulator if you don't have because everything is what we need is right here so we're gonna destruct deconstruct that uh, that meaning uh, the old base is now out of power and if you put a little, little bit of kind we just place that down and that would uh, make sure the base is on a, its own power what oh yeah it's on its own power grid no it's on the steam power grid yeah oh it's, it's running fine at the moment so that's nice we can put it on the main power grid again just for a sake of pollution then we just place that one down so that one would charge in the accumulator then we have two switches and we need uh, two more power poles that we just struck from stuff. One going there. It's the normal power grid, and then we need one for. Oh, there it is. One for that. So um, when let's keep be here. We just lift that through. So when the power goes, uh, when 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 power power was A right? Power goes um, above. What would you say? Um, we want a base until 20%. So when the power is above 20%, this one would have power, so that would be the main grid. But when the power goes below 21%, it will be on its own power grid. So, uh, and this one needs to connect to this system, which is uh, a, a kind of mess right now. Doesn't quite matter. So we connect that to the base. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Let's try to connect. We cannot do that. So let's not do that. But I want to use it for placing purposes. Like that. So then um, 
you will be disconnected, you will be disconnected, and you will be disconnected. So you need to connect to the main grid. Nah, how am I going to do that? Uh, if I do it like that, it would be a bit awkward to see, but it would work. And then this one, we need to connect it to the switch. Switch doesn't work because it's too far out. But if we use small poles, we don't do that much. Like that, and then connect you to you to you to. That's even too far away. What do you think about that's fine? Right, good. Then we can use. No, we need a big one right here because the power is going to be far away. So we do that again. So you to you to you. So that is the normal grid. Uh, it should go through that switch, right? The power goes in here. Oh no, uh, it doesn't go through the switch because it does go through the switch, which the switch is not connected to the main base at this moment. So let's do that. Now it's connected. So now everything is going through the switch. And if I place this one down, it will not anymore. I don't know why it has an offset. But then we do still have this power pole. I'm going to disconnect that. And disconnect that one or mark it as deconstruct also fine and then the power grid is still active so that's nice so i'm just gonna plump down some lights because it's really dark right now and if i put the right lights down in this pattern it will be so bright that you wouldn't even notice that it is night it's the middle of the night so i'm just gonna keep on doing that and keep on working a little bit on the base and for now uh hope to see you another time uh next time and probably we do work on this a little bit better. Uh, what I want to do is set up the turret all the way around, uh, not this side, and then we can start m moving these stuff right there and get getting a bit more organized. Yes. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you another time. Goodbye.